if we think of the five asymptotic notations, theta, big O, big omega, little o, and little omega, as relations between functions, for example, this theta here is defining a relationship between the function t of n and the function f of n. So if you think of these asymptotic notations as relationships between two functions, we have shown in the last video that the theta relation between two functions is reflexive. t of n is theta of t of n. It is symmetric. If t of n is theta of f of n, then f of n is theta of t of n. And it's transitive. If t of n is theta of f of n, and f of n is theta of g of n, then t of n is theta of g of n. Likewise, we showed that the big O relation and the big omega relation are reflexive and transitive, but they are not symmetric. By saying they are not symmetric, I mean that if t of n is big O of f of n, then f of n is not big O of t of n. Uh, f of n is not necessarily big O of t of n. Likewise, if t of n is big omega of f of n, then f of n is not necessarily big omega of t of n. In fact, the relationship is reverse. If t of n is big O of f of n, f of n is going to be big omega of t of n, and, and vice versa. The other two uh, relations, little o and little omega, they are only transitive. They are not reflexive. T of n is not little o of t of n. T of n is not little omega of t of n. And they are not transitive either. If t of n is little o of f of n, then f of n is not little o of t of n. f of n is in fact little omega of t of n. So again, we have uh, a symmetry across these two relations, but not within each relation. So this same pattern is seen in case of numbers between these five relations. If you think of the equality or uh, the, the equality relationship between numbers or the less than or equal to relationship between numbers, the greater than or equal to relationship between numbers, the less than or greater than relationship, these five relationships are analogous to these five relationships between functions. The theta notations are indicating, uh, the, the asymptotic notations are indicating relationship between functions, whereas these arithmetic relations are indicating relations between numbers. I've indicated these numbers as, uh, the numbers that they are relating as t and f. Uh, they are not functions, they are actually numbers, just to maintain uh, the same nomenclature. So just as theta is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, the equal to relationship is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. t is equal to t. If t is equal to f, then f is equal to t. If t is equal to f and f is equal to g, then t is equal to g. So the equal to relationship is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. The less than or equal to and the greater than or equal to relationships are only reflexive and transitive. T is less than or equal to T. If T is less than or equal to G and G is less than or equal to H, then T is less than or equal to H. Likewise, T is greater than or equal to T. And if T is greater than or equal to F and F is greater than or equal to G, then T is greater than or equal to G. And just as the little o and little omega notations indicate a transitive relationship between uh, the functions they are relating, they satisfy the property of transitivity in a similar way. These two operators, these two relations sat satisfy the property of transitivity. So if t is less than f, f is less than g, then t is less than g. 
Likewise, if t is greater than f and f is greater than g, then t is greater than g. But they are not reflex reflexive. t is not less than t and t is not greater than t. And they are not symmetric either. If t is less than f, then f is not less than t. f is in fact greater than t. Likewise, if t is greater than f, then f is not greater than t, f is in fact less than t. So, neither of these two relations is symmetric. So, in this particular sense, these five relations connecting, the fun connecting functions are analogous to these five relations connecting numbers. I'm assuming that you have uh, you have already gone through a, a, a course on discrete math here, so you know what, what these terms actually mean in the context of relations.